when she came to me with reading messages. And we were like, yeah, that's the girl that's the, that we just saw. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys text her? Mm-mm. What do you mean? Did you guys send messages to her? No, we don't got her number. No, I mean from his phone. Oh, from his phone? Mm-hmm. No, no, I don't think so, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. Because you, you messed up your story a little bit. I already read the messages. You messed up a little bit. What was the messages? He wasn't getting kicked out. Oh, uh, what? Yes, he was. Mm-mm. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? I, I didn't. I only saw the messages where he was cheating. So I'm not sure if anybody texted her. Are you sure? You know? Yeah. So Anton, I just sent the message to her. I'm positive myself. myself. I'm positive. But yeah, I don't know if there's any messages sent to that lady. Because I, I can't say I didn't know if there's messages sent. But you were with her when she was like, asked me to have come. You were still with her when she was texting her. I know you guys were sending messages. She already told us you guys were texting her. Yeah, but I don't know what's that. So she was like, just texting her. That's why I said we were getting kicked out. I don't know what was that. So you didn't send the messages, she just sent the messages. Yeah, because I don't know what was said in those messages. But I know from seeing them arguing, he was getting kicked out. Okay, so you didn't see no messages answering. I just told you about it. And then no, I saw, I saw the messages where he was cheating. What did those say? Oh, I'm feeling you. I'm falling for you, something like that. Hurting each other. Blah, blah, blah. And that's when Antoinette showed those, she showed those to you, and that's when she started messaging her? Yeah, she showed those to me. Mm-hmm. And then she sent a message to her. Antoinette sent the message to Ashley? No, no, yeah, I guess. Did she tell you what she was sending? Did, like, the words and shit? No, I don't know what she said. Maybe you had to know something. You knew she was on fire. But I, yeah, I didn't know she was outside. Of course I knew she was outside, because if she about to go fight, I'm coming with her. But earlier in the day, she didn't know that she was walking into a fight. Hmm. but it was a, a, it was a result of her uh, the injury she sustained during the fight. Bocanegra's autopsy report shows that she sustained blunt force trauma to the head. She also suffered from hemorrhaging in the brain and the back. Her cause of death is listed as generalized trauma, which resulted in a rupture of the right adrenal gland, a gland that sits right above the kidney. Her manner of death? Homicide. If you've been injured in a car accident, don't call an attorney. Use this AI app instead. Right. It's crazy. How does it make you feel? This make you feel like I'm going to hell. That I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like that's really crazy. Life is crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's not a big girl. No, she isn't. That's why. That's why I didn't watch her. She, she's too small. I, said, I, I looked at her and I'm just like, how old are you? She told me she was 30. I'm like, you're, you're like, you're really small for your age to be 30. Like, she looked sick, skinny. So I was cool. I was like, nah. I heard she was pretty up. I don't know. Dane was like, he said, when I opened the door, I saw her. I was like, oh, and I slammed the door because she was so up. Yeah, he did do that. 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 He said he was shocked because I did it. I don't know, because I really, I really didn't see her after that. Like, they had me sitting in the back because they knew it was on my Detective Araya and Detective Carter already spoke with Daniel Gonzalez back at the apartment complex. While his fiancée and sister were being escorted to the police headquarters, Daniel Gonzalez shared what he knew with investigators. Listen, we'll come back here and talk to you after you got kids, so we'll just leave you here for now with your kids. Um, we're going to take her up and talk to her. Sister's gonna go. So just two cars, so one more car, that's it. And then we'll go from there, okay? Um, how long have you lived here? About like a year. About a year? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know Ashley? Yes, yeah, sir. How do you know Ashley? Uh, uh, do you know who has an emotional relationship? Yes, sir. Okay. So, they had the altercation earlier this afternoon. Yes, sir. Which you don't know anything. 
anything about. No, I was informed that while I was sleeping, she went in my phone and took my phone. And yes, she, she deleted the messages from not even online. She mm -hmm. gave me back my phone and it was like, seemed like it was untouched. Yeah. She texted the woman and said, hey, she, she basically acted like she was me. I know, I, she probably, I swear she probably still has the messages I asked her. So um, she texted me and she was like, well, she acted like she was me. And she said, hey, my wife kicked me down. She's not my wife, but she said that. I guess that's what she said. The woman came out and out. So she kicked me out and come meet me. Uh, she used basically her, her, her emotional, the way she feels towards me yeah. to get her over here. And when she got her over here, they call. Go ahead and just take them over by your car. Just go ahead and take them over We're by your car, please. Oh, yeah, hold on one second. So then she came over, so she asked her to come over. She was pretending to be you. Yes, ma'am. And then what? She called her. She had to because the way when I opened up, I, I literally woke up and was like, oh, When you say she fought her, like, She had to fight who? her because they had to fight or get in the altercation because when, like, when I heard this, like, I literally woke up and I'm like, what the heck? And all I hear is them yelling when my she said my sister and her, you know, I guess, like, hyped. So like, Ashley came something. here to your door because they took her phone, I guess. That she had, they took her phone because I got to give it back. Oh, they took her phone? Yes. Okay. Because she was going to text, um, I guess, her and, and like, you know, mm -hmm. she was pretty, she was hurt, so, but she's not, and I wake up, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, there's not that door, but I hear bigger, so I'm like, yo, y'all don't hear this door? I'm like, what the heck? I open the door, <laughs> and I just see that I just closed it immediately. How like, did she look when you, when she opened the door? <laughs> She looked up. Yeah. Okay. He tells detectives that although he is in a relationship with Stevens, he isn't interested in her. Their relationship had been falling apart for some time, leading up to the attack against Bocanegra, his new love interest. Did she talk to you about it afterwards? No, the only thing she said is, why would you do this to me? And I told her, like, we, we're not, like, the love, the love interest is gone, everything. Like, I told her just yesterday mm -hmm. that she saw me walking with the girl. Oh, and okay. And I stopped her. I was like, you're not going to, you're not going to fight her because of what we're going to. It's not, it's not her fault, you know. Did she message yes, Ashley from your phone and I'm pretty sure pretending to be you? Her. Yes. Daniel Gonzalez shows his phone to Detective Carter who begins reading the text messages Stevens allegedly sent. There's, there's about what happened to your sister kicked me in the back by my heart and chest. Yes, and I know she has heart problems. Like, this is, like, crazy. Like, like, it's not like this is fresh. Like, I'm over here cheating on this woman. I'm not. I, we've been, like, this has been a toxic environment, and she's just been trying to figure out what to do, and I've been trying to figure out what to do. But... I, but she doesn't want nobody to leave. Where you at? I need to see you. I'm in the bed. I want you here so bad. Daniel Gonzalez appears genuinely concerned about Boca Negra's well-being. He willingly gives his phone to investigators and consents to a download of his messages. Then he asks how Ashley Boca Negra is doing. It appears he hadn't arrived home yet when the detectives broke the news of her death to Stevens and Gonzalez. Does she hurt? Oh, I see it. Like real bad. So honestly, I'm I'm not gonna make a show. I'm not gonna go and yell. I'm not, I'm not gonna go call her. I just just want to know. Oh well, yeah, we got a call from the hospital a little while ago, and she actually passed away from. No, her. stop playing with me, no, please. No, seriously. Please okay. stop playing. No. Please stop playing. Sit down. 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 Please stop playing. Breathe. 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 Daniel Gonzalez, obviously distraught, leaves the walkway and enters his apartment. Detectives follow him. I felt the hole in my heart as soon as she left. That sh was crazy. One tragic and brutal murder. Three staggeringly different reactions from everyone inside the apartment that day. By the end of their interrogations, the women behind Ashley Bocanegra's violent death receive identical charges. Robbery! Uh, what? Robbery? Yeah. We didn't steal her phone. We took it so she could come to the house. Oh, you took it. 
Yeah, she you got she got her phone back. Uh, I told you she wasn't leaving unless she got we gave her back her phone. We just did it so we could call her husband but we changed her mind. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, for a day. She got her phone she, back. She she said it was okay for you to take it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a robbery. Uh the other charge okay. is uh murder. Murder? Yeah. You're being charged with murder. Me? That's, 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 that's too deep. bad. That's deep, right? Yeah, that's, that's insane. Yeah. No, 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 no. What? Murder? I couldn't leave hands on her. All I did was pull her hair. Antonetta Stevens and Janine Gonzalez are both taken to the Gwinnett County Jail. While they're being booked, Daniel Gonzalez is at home with his three-year-old son. What did you do, Nick? What did you do, what? Okay, yes, definitely watch SpongeBob. Three young boys are now left without a mother to care for them. Antonetta Stevens and Janine Gonzalez are each currently serving 20 years for voluntary manslaughter and robbery by force at Arendelle State Prison. Their maximum sentence release dates are both set for August 2042.